and I'll come back home. Cool. I know say it don't take small why I drop video and that are because I don't they do paid mentorship programs with some of them. So if you're not they interested in the mentorship program, we are going to teach you now one on one. Then just follow the link for the description and then we go take them from there. So but meanwhile, for today's video, I'll show you how to build this profile web page with Bootstrap and JavaScript. I hope say so you're not going to enjoy this kind of video because this profile website it makes sense where we we get many things we will feel learned for this portfolio website. This is a even get secure form. We say it gets your own recapture. And then I can't drop one nice animation. We will say if we add any animation. So I go teach you now and I feel they put correct SVG animation on top of your web pages. So if you check them, you can see a fully responsive website. If you check them for mobile phone, is still fresh if you check on for tablet is still fresh check the menu you click on you can see the menu don't they collapse now if you say make we expand them again like i close this one if you say you want to download the resume if you even download your resume for here this is not just a pdf we say anybody if you click on and download your own resume make we test the form make i show that as the form they even take work so i could just put my name for here so then I go put my email for here. Then I go put my phone number for here. And then make I just drop one small note for here. We say we go take test, say everything done they work correct, correct for us. And because in a secure form, you go need click this I am not a robot. So once you don't validate finish, you can click this send message. It go come redirect you come this thank you page and if you click even this link for here we'll say go carry you go back into the website and by the way this site i go show now how we feel deploy them online so that we feel they work with this site so we say make we check the back end now our form name be this now the time where the form just show be this so make we open them you go see say now the message where the form they give us for here so anybody if you send you a message online are you going to see this message for this back end for here so if you now enjoy all this kind of video no one no forget to just take one seconds one seconds pause the video just like them um, subscribe if you never subscribe already make you start to the code for here soon If you never see the previous videos where we did build all these other parts of our project for here, so make sure make sure say you now watch those other videos because for this video we go start to build the contact section of this uh, our project for here. So make I just drop one comment so we go know say now nah, here where we did the contact section, and of course we go start with a simple section. I will go give them a class of container with Bootstrap they give us. Now I will copy all this content from the previous section and I will drop them for inside here for only the top, the first top div. And now we go just change the text, to contact. I will change the inner span to me. And what we want to do is we want to highlight the name. So make we try highlight the name for here. I will just put a span. I will give them a class of text warning and FW bold than a font with bold. Now make we move the name inside here. So you will see I'm say it go give us that yellow text. And I don't dare use this by now already, right? So make we start to build the form. I will go say for inside this form section, we want a row. And we want to break this row for the first column. We go say column MD6 for the first column. And then inside this column MD6, we go drop a form. Now this form, we know go give them an action. We go just give them a method of post, and then we go give them a class of MT5. Inside this form, we won't put an input, and we go set them to text. We go also give them a name, and then we go give them an ID of floating form. Finally, make we set them to required for here so. And so we go add a label and we go just set the four to the ID of this our name for here. So we go say floating name. Make we add small text. And if we preview them, um, you can see say we get our text, we get our heading, and we get our form. But though it will work for now, 
but we go change them for here. So make we go back into the HTML. And what we want to be say, we go come create a div. So make we add a class of form dash floating. And then we go move all our input and label inside them. So now everything just make sure say it day inside this class of form dash floating. And that will make sure say we get nice bootstrap uh, animation for here. Finally, inside the input, make we add a class of form control. This will make the form come make sense where where. So now we go come go back into our input, and now we go give them a placeholder. But the placeholder we go leave them blank because the label don't they work for us. So if we check them, we will see say just a jump and they show us your name. Just leave them like so, okay? Now make we add a margin button. So then our MB-3. And what you want to be say, we want to duplicate this div. We get form dash floating a couple of times. So the first one and for name, the second one could be for email. And we could just change this ID to floating email. We're going to change the label to your email. And then we could scroll down. Then we'll change the type to tell. And we could change the name to phone. And then we could change the ID for this tell to floating tell. Ah, make I change this one for up to floating email also. And then we'll change the phone number for this phone label. Now we could do the last one and we want the message. So this your message, we want to change the ID for both of them to message. And then we go, we go change the name to message. We go change them from input to text area. We will come create another row, and this row now here we will put all our security or the button and the recapture. So we will just first say we want a D, the class of row, and inside this row we want a column MD6, and then we want a display flex. Now make we set the align for the display flex to align item center. And then inside here, we will come put a button, and this button we will set down to class of BTN and another class of BTN dash LG and another class of rounded dash four. Then we will come give them a shadow, and we will give them another class of BTN dash one. Then make we add a font size to we will set down to six and a font weight of semi bold. And then we go give them a padding py3 and make we set the type as submit. We will drop text for here, say send message. And now we get our button. We're going to send the message. So make we create another column of column MD6. And inside this div of column MD6, now here we will put our recapture. But no worry, I will just drop one empty div for here. So we go keep them as a placeholder. When the time reach to Adam, we go Adam. Let me preview our form, and you go see say it makes sense. I beg, make sure not forget subscribe. Oh, if they help this channel, they grow small, small because if they ginger me to they make more videos like this for now for free. So make we go back inside VS Code, and for inside our VS Code. Make we go into the text area, make we add some inline styles for here. We could just add a height of 150 pixels. And if we say make we preview arm, we can see say we get our input and our text area just big the way we want to make it big. So, so we could go back VS Code, make we select all the form dash control, and we go give all of them a rounded dash three class. Once we don't do like that, we go need go into the form tag, and now we go start to the add our recapture. So we go need add beta dash netlify dash recapture, and we go set them to true, and then we go set another one of data dash netlify, and we go set them to true. These attributes 
that are waiting in Netlify where we go upload our site, the host time will give us. But now, now we're not going to see the data dash Netlify dash recapture. You're not going to see them now. Just know say, now Netlify go show the recapture. And even the name where we don't they give everything, now Netlify could constantly validate those inputs that they show us, say, now waiting that they type on top the inputs where we get for here. So, so make we add the recapture. And for inside this div, we go add another attribute. We go call them data dash Netlify dash recapture. And this time, we go also set them to true for here. So, all right. This now where the recapture go the display itself for us. You know, go show for here now as with the preview arm. But when we upload them online, you go to show from the Netlify website. Make we go back VS Code. Make we go back into the button. And then we go make the button, make it spread where we're the whole column. So we'll go say W-100. Correct. So if we go back our VS Code, make I just collapse this column for here. Now we go add another column for here. We'll call them column MD6, just like the one with the on top. And inside this column, now here we're going to add our lotty file or lotty player. Now, lotty file, now waiting, we're going to use the do our animation to make a show now. If you come to the Lottie file website, you can see now here where if they add all this custom animation and now big, big companies, they use this Lottie file animations. This is now correct SVG animations. So, no be waiting, browser no go understand now smooth animation. Now, if you search for any of the animations where you want, just type like loading and all those kind of things, it could give you the smooth animation. If you copy them, if you do anything where you want, if you download them as MP4, as GIF, anything, you could just download them, add them to your project, and you could feel use them. But I will show now the best way to take use this Lottie file website. Go integration for the top here. Just go for the menu, make we click on the web player, and it will give us a preview of our animation. So if we say make we check this preview now, if you see say we feel they get different settings for here, and if you use this one. Can't do your settings now, just visual representation of the code where we would write. So, if you just set them for here and you go do the exact same thing for inside your code. So, if you just copy this code with it for here, which now waiting don't generate based on the settings where we get. And uh, now, if you copy all the settings from the GitHub repo, if you now no one go through all the settings like that, if you just copy the settings and paste them for the code. So if you paste them, what thing they do we say it just the help us they put this animation inside our code. But what thing I want to be say I want come out the script and I want move them to the top for inside the head. This go make sure say the thing go load first. So make we go the lottie player and we could just change this our pixels to hundred pixels, a hundred percent. I'm gonna change the other one to hundred percent. So make I come out this code. We don't need this. So all we need now these attributes for here. And if we preview them, um, you can see say we get our gift box for here. All right. So now now for us to so add that hand animation or the link to the hand animation that naive. So make I just say make I copy the link from the GitHub repo and then I could just paste the link for inside here again. Okay? Now if you get the link. Now, if you get the link from the repo and if you use that repo, so make we CRCB or PC, make we CRCB for mobile screen, you they see say it makes sense where we're. So we could go back inside VS Code, make we can say we want to set the order. I'm going to set the order for this our first column MD6 to order MD first. I'm going to set the order column for normal to order first. That go make sure say from middle screen above it go to show first. So we could go back to this code. I might just quickly add the footer section because we fit add the footer section quick quick. So we could just say we want a footer tag, 
and then inside this filter tag you could just add uh, 2023 cut 2023 and if you use javascript even write the year if you want that could update the year with javascript and now make we add some classes for inside here so we want padding all around down and then we also want a text center text dash center we want a bg dash warning dash subtle so this will give us that slightly warning or slightly yellow background where we get for here so the next thing we're going to do now to deploy our website for hosting and then we go test them say everything they work nice nice and so i'll go see you now for the next video